Hi, in this video I'm going to um, show you how to use the inverse hyperbolic uh, results or definitions in order to solve some um, basic equations. Okay, so here goes. So here's an example. So example number one. Let me underline that. So if the question is to find the values of x so find the values of x that's the question and let's take an example so part a is let's find the value of x for this equation hyperbolic sine x equals let's say 2 okay so hyperbolic sine x equals 2 okay so in order to solve this equation so let, let's go through it to calculate x, it's quite straightforward. All you need to do is to take the inverse hyperbolic sine of 2. Okay, so x will be the inverse hyperbolic sine of 2. Okay, by taking an inverse on both sides. Okay, and to find the inverse hyperbolic sine of 2, um, if you recall from the one of the videos that I did previously, we had a result for the inverse hyperbolic sine of x. Okay, so there is a result for the inverse hyperbolic sine of x. Let me write that out in red to remind you. So the inverse hyperbolic sine of x um, had the result ln x plus the root x squared plus 1. Okay, so that was the result for the inverse hyperbolic sine of x. So... I'm going to use that result here to find the inverse hyperbolic sine of 2 by simply replacing the x's in the result by 2's. So x will be ln. So x is 2. So it's going to be ln 2 plus the root of. x is 2, remember. So 2 squared plus 1. Okay which when simplified, x will be ln 2 plus it's the square root and 2 squared is 4 plus 1 is 5. Okay, so um, I, I, leave the, I, I usually leave my answers like that, but you could just as well use a calculator to calculate that value. Okay. Um, there is a button in most of the calculators. I believe in the Casio calculator, there's a button with uh, that has that has HYP on it. And HYP, um, if you press that, uh, it gives you a, a library of hyperbolic functions. Okay, so it gives you um, the the functions as I remember: hyperbolic sine, hyperbolic cos, hyperbolic tan but also the inverse functions for hyperbolic sine, hyperbolic cos and hyperbolic tan. So if you key in that button, so if you press the button HYP, select uh, hyperbolic sine inverse, type press 2 and press equals, you should get exactly the same value. Okay. So uh, let me go through another example. So here's an example B. So same question, uh, different example. So uh, let's solve hyperbolic tan, uh, for example, hyperbolic tan 2x equals 1 over, uh, let's say 1 over, I don't know, 1 over 2. Okay, so following the same method over here, so if I take uh, the inverses on both sides, uh, 2x will be the inverse hyperbolic tan of 1 over 2 okay and remember there is a result for the inverse hyperbolic tan so one of the videos I did prove that result so let me just remind you inverse hyperbolic tan x had the definition 1 over 2 ln 1 plus x over 1 minus x so that was the definition. So that definition we've seen and we've proved. So um, similarly, as with the previous example, if I replace the x's here 
by 1 over 2 or half. Whoops. So we're going to have 2x is equal to, replacing the x's here by halves, we're going to have 1 over 2 ln 1 plus x, which is half, divided by 1 minus x, which is half. Okay, so let me just, I hope you can see that. So let me just, there you go. So I'm going to simplify that. So simplifying will give us 2x is equal to, so I hope you can see that. So 2x is equal to 1 over 2 ln 1 plus half on top is 3 over 2 over and 1 minus half below is 1 over 2. Okay. So if I continue along the line, so that's the same as half ln and 3 over 2 divided by 1 over 2 is 3. Okay, so, so far 2x is equal to 1 over 2 or half ln 3. So we need x, so if I divide both sides by 2, x will be 1 over 4 ln 3 so I'll leave my answer like that okay so um, that completes the video so this these are just simple examples of how the inverse function can be um, used uh, so I hope you found this video helpful and I hope to see you in the next video thank you